morning to all traders and welcome to this week's last market insights video we're going to talk about fx majors there hasn't been a lot of moves in the markets to be honest is black friday today as well um so i want to uh, go ahead and touch two pairs that um could actually quite move a bit uh today not that they're the only ones that are likely to move but um on the um political at least and also economic uh, scene there is events that uh, could affect prices on those two one of course of those is the GBP USD the pound the cable um, the sterling whatever you want to call it and uh, this is because of course it's been moving to the upside uh, following polls that uh, Boris Johnson um, government uh, is uh, leading this election um, so far and the other pair of course will be the dollar uh, against the uh, Canadian um, counterpart and this is because we are expecting the um, GDP data to come out from Canada today so uh, another good opportunity to consider and also if we look at the technical uh, outlook as well um, you will like that one a bit more. So on pound, we've been uh, looking at this uh, to move to the upside. We'll be talking about this intermediate wave move, okay? Uh, so we are now in the mid of intermediate wave three. Uh, within the minor degree, we've ended wave three up here, right? Which is also a leading uh, move here, one, two, three, four, and five and um, in the minute uh, degree and then we've got a correction okay that is going to most likely actually end the correction for wave four and we should be looking to now move higher for minor wave five now uh, since this you can probably see that this is a triangle pattern right so i've got um, five pretty patterns right one two three 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 we ended down here okay this triangle pattern and what is likely to happen now we're most likely going to see prices breaking above uh, these uh, descending trend line the top of the triangle we've had waves one two three four and most likely going to have five and that is going to end around the one six one extension of waves one and two right um which is around 129.82. We should be receiving a short correction then down to to the top of of uh, of wave one, okay, which is around 129 and a very good round level as well. And from here, actually, we might not, we might just miss that, right? So the, the correction might be smaller. We'll never know how deep the correction is going to be, but. If we want this to be impulsive, which would validate the move to the upside, we want the prices really to start moving lower to go down to uh, 129, not below that level. Okay, and then of course we move for uh, for uh, minor wave five, which got a uh, medium term, uh, if I'm not mistaken, around 131, 132. Right. Obviously, we'll revisit this pair next week, so there's no reason to worry. Uh, about where exactly we're going to see minor wave five ending. Now note that also the RSI and the MACD support the move to the upside. Okay, we both um, uh, we receive from both very good uh, hidden divergence uh, signals. Okay, and the other pair I want to talk the dollar card. We've talked about the, color, the dollar card as well. Okay, dollar card is very interesting because it looks like if you recall we talked about last week okay so we've got wave one two three four and five and this uh, actually was minor wave one okay so we finished with one and what will happen what happened then we, we we talked about that being corrective wave two right and i've changed my view i'm seeing this as a flat correction okay so we've got a w x and a y here because obviously we'll start with a three and then we've got another three and then one two three four and five so do not forget that the three, uh, a, um, I'm sorry, a flat pattern is a three, three, five, right? So we've got the first, the second, um, and we are in the last move to the upside, which is an impulsive move, right? 
with hot waves one, two, and three completed. And what we are expecting now is the completion of wave four, okay? So wave four is also on a triangle pattern, okay? Weirdly enough, or luckily enough, or surprisingly enough, as well as the pound, right? So we've got waves A, B, C, D, and we are gonna go down for wave E and then move higher to complete wave five, and that is going to be around, again, the Fibonacci extension of 161, and it is around the 133.89 level, 133.80 or so, which is also very near the Fibonacci uh, retracement of wave one, right? Oops, apologies for this, of wave one, which is all this move, right? So this is the 133.55. So a very good level to say this area over here, I would call it a zone actually, where we're going most likely to see a lot of um, orders coming through the markets. So the question here is, are we going to move lower uh, or did we really end that with uh, A, B, C, D, and E over here? Well, if that's the case, then it means that we're gonna move higher from here with one, two, three, four, and five, and then we should be looking for um, uh, you know, selling pressures to start increasing around that level. The other scenario would be that we move a little bit lower, maybe have a throwback as well, and then we move up for uh, the completion of wave five, which is likely to be also ending the, um, this corrective uh, flat pattern. We receive uh, also on the RSI and the MACD signs here, we received them actually before. Now what it seems to be the case is that we are getting some sort of uh, bullish hidden divergence over here, right? Because price moving up, the RSI lower, which means we are going most likely to have another push to the upside. So for the day, uh, this is all. I would pay attention to any sort of news um, surrounding the uh, general election in the UK, as well as, of course, uh, be there for the uh, Canadian GDP data release. Uh, thank you all for watching and have a nice weekend.